The obby genre has become fairly vast, with difficulty chart obbies being one of the many types that you can play. The difficulty chart obby originated from the idea of the difficulty system in a game called Duke's Towers of Hell. The general idea is compressing the lengthy difficulty progression of platformer obbies into a simplified, shorter obby that summarises all levels of skill. This obby genre peaked around April of 2022. Seeing many interesting obbies arise that give their own take on the difficulty chart genre. This video will focus on the raw difficulty chart obby, not any recent additions like bikes or other types of gameplay. I will be ranking each obby in three categories, gameplay, scaling and enjoyment. Oh, and if you are wondering what scaling means, it means if a difficulty chart gradually increases or if it sharply increases in difficulty. Difficulty chart obbies that gradually increase in difficulty will score higher as they are more balanced. I will also consider miscellaneous things like the music used and additional features. The first difficulty chart obby is the most popular on this list with over 800,000 visits in total. It's none other than Endor's difficulty chart obby 2. Even if the visit count is over four times more than the other two on this list, I picked it because it stands out so much from the stereotypical difficulty chart obby. One of the largest things that differentiates this from the rest of the crowd is the unique gameplay style. This has a very enjoyable gameplay that isn't run of the mill. The gameplay is paired with great design too. It isn't anything out of the ordinary, but it looks nice. Once you get to a challenging stage, you can practice it with the practice stage feature. Clicking on this button will give you no clip, allowing you to practice as you wish. I have not seen any other difficulty chart obbies implement this and would love to see more implement this feature. Considering all of this, I would rate the gameplay a 7 out of 10. The difficulty gradually scales at a consistent rate, however I am only going to rate it a 6 out of 10. In general, as a whole, the difficulty scales at a consistent rate. The problem is that inside of the stages, random jumps can be much harder than others. That's why I'm stuck on stage 110. Tell me in the comments if you have a higher stage than me. Even with the difficulty spikes, the large variety of jumps keeps the obby interesting and fun. The obby really gets fun once you get to the tougher stages. These stages use harder gameplay and more strategic base jumps. I enjoyed going through this hobby, leading to an enjoyment rating of 8 out of 10. The grand total for Endor's difficulty chart obby 2 is... 21 out of 30. This hobby is well worth your time and I could not recommend it more. Go play it, the link is in the description. The Jato and Jato fan game players will recognise the creator of this next difficulty chart hobby. It is none other than Index. This is also the second most popular one in the video, with 138,000 visits. It's a generic one-stage difficulty chart obby. Upon joining the game, it seems like every other difficulty chart obby. The start of the obby is a little underwhelming. You could even call it generic. But once you get to the later stages, it is much better. The stages also get longer at the later stages too, which is a bonus. But anyway, the gameplay is super varied. There are heaps of jumps that will keep you engaged for hours. The use of the unique style that no other difficulty chart obby uses further increases its gameplay score. This obby does not have any unique practice feature though. It is completed and goes up to very high difficulties. In total, a generic one stage difficulty chart obby is 8 out of 10 in gameplay. This is one of the better obbies that scale. The difficulty scales fast at the start, but slowly nearing the end. I do enjoy how there is no major difficulty spikes throughout each of the stages. The difficulty does oscillate slightly during the stages, this is expected though. Because it is better at scaling difficulties than most other difficulty chart obbies, it gets a well deserved 9 out of 10. I like the difficulty chart obbies that cut past most of the easy difficulties. It just makes getting to the interesting obby more enjoyable. The music is, oh wait, there is none. That reduces the enjoyability a little bit, but this is somewhat compensated by the great gameplay and scaling that makes this a great play. 
the prose gives it the enjoyment rating of 6 out of 10. The grand total of a generic difficulty chart obby is 23 out of 30. I would highly recommend this to anyone watching. The link is in the description too. Also comment if you have beaten my stage. I'm at stage 32 which is too hard difficulty and it's on the screen as you can see. The third difficulty chart obby is a trust based obby that you probably have never heard of. It's Confused's Trust Flick difficulty chart obby. This obby has only one obstacle per stage, which is less than the other two we have covered. This is unrelated to the difficulty chart obby, but if you haven't noticed yet, each difficulty chart obby gets shorter in this video. Anyway, back to Confused's Trust Flick difficulty chart obby. Much like the last difficulty chart obby, this one goes up many humanly impossible difficulties. This is a very small difficulty chart obby, only having 33 stages. The stages mostly consist of more basic trust jumps, but it quickly gets hard. The gameplay is pretty straightforward, having an assortment of trust jumps that are pr pretty similar to each other, but not too similar, as there is still a good amount of variety. Even if the design is not being scored, this is the best design difficulty chart obby out of the video. The design goes hand in hand with the gameplay as some of the design is used as an obstacle. I like the simple gameplay with the complex design, giving this rating a 6 out of 10 on gameplay. It's going to be pretty hard to rank the scaling because it scales so quickly. Unlike the other two we have covered, each stage only is one single jump, meaning that each jump will have to be around two times harder than the last to scale gradually, and it does not follow this. There is a general issue with difficulty scaling for jump per difficulty chart obbies, and it is that they cannot scale in difficulties. Every single stage will be a jump from the last until we hit a roadblock, and for me, that roadblock is at stage 28. Comment if you have beaten my stage and I'll pin the first person who beats me in all three difficulty chart obbies. Anyway, back to how this difficulty chart obby scales. Due to these issues, I have to rate it a 4 out of 10. Another thing I have noticed is that once I get past the stage that blocked me, I am able to do some future stages easier, which is not what should be happening. Despite this, I find it quite enjoyable. Personally, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 in enjoyment. It's not higher due to the flaws previously discussed. However, it is reduced due to the music not working. Similarly to the last difficulty chart obby, which is also old, the music zones are broken. The silence makes the experience too quiet. It's always fun to play these shorter obbies though. Confused's Trust Flick difficulty chart obby gets a total of 19 out of 30, which is the lowest score but it does not mean it's bad. This is linked below so you can play it and try and beat me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and can play at least one of these difficulty chart obbies and try to beat my stage. And if you like these videos where I critique and unpack obbies, you should go check out my Unknown Fan Game series. It's a really fun series that you will enjoy. Also, comment with some more difficulty chart obbies I can visit, so if I make a second part, I'll use some of your difficulty chart obbies. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya!